It has become the heartbreak hotel for more than one big-time presidential campaign. The Lowe's Regency, Park Avenue, and 61st Street in New York. Not only the place where Senator John Edwards first met Riel Hunter, their affair ultimately crashing his political career and marriage, but more recently, the home of Donald Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, raided by the FBI in April in search of, among other things, evidence of payments to silence affairs Trump had allegedly had. Tying this twin tabloid turmoil together tighter, a man named, of all things, Pecker, David Pecker, chief executive of the National Enquirer. I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David. David Pecker referenced in this secret audio of Trump and Cohen allegedly discussing paying off women not to go public with stories about Trump. Pecker now persuaded to cooperate with prosecutors, reportedly granted immunity in exchange for anything and everything he might know about schemes to keep alleged Trump affairs on the down low. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So no, okay. no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. The National Enquirer's central role in both scandals paradoxical in that the tabloids single-handedly led reporting on the Edwards affair, the resulting love child, and questions about campaign contributions, almost winning a Pulitzer Prize for its work a decade ago. Not true. Not true. Published in a supermarket tabloid. While well, now the Enquirer is coming across more like Pravda for its fanatical devotion to Donald Trump. Prosecutors alleging the tabloid conspired with Cohen to pay to keep things quiet for Trump in order to influence the presidential election. Cohen has already publicly contradicted Trump on that, and Pecker has now talked to the feds. The potential for campaign finance violations, yet another key coincidence in a pair of political predicaments that share a certain history at a posh place on Park Avenue. In New York, Steve Lankford, I-24 News.